Does it take forever to get your engine started? Then you just might need a new purge bulb. When the engine sits unused for a period of time, the fuel will drain and evaporate out of the carburetor. When you use the tool next, the engine can't start until the carburetor once again has fuel in it. The purge bulb, more commonly called the primer bulb, manually pumps fuel into the carburetor, which purges the air out of the carb. Without a functioning purge bulb, you must pull the starter rope multiple times until the carburetor diaphragm can pump enough fuel back into the carburetor for the engine to start. Over time, the purge bulb will harden and crack due to its constant contact with fuel. Once cracked, it will no longer pump fuel into the carb, causing a hard starting engine. Replacing the purge bulb is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before you begin, you'll want to go ahead and drain the fuel out of the saw. Now remove the air filter to get access to the nuts that secure the air filter base to the carburetor. There's one more screw that secures the air filter base to the carburetor. Now I need to get the carburetor out of the way. There are several pieces we need to remove to do that. I'm gonna start by removing the choke lever, just so we don't lose it. Next, I'll remove the line coming from the primer bulb to the carburetor. Now I'll pull the throttle trigger on the saw, and that'll give me access to the throttle linkage. I'll pull that away, and remove it from the carburetor. Now I'll pull the carburetor away from the saw. And I'll probably need to pay attention a little to this intake tube as it tends to grab onto the carburetor a little bit as you try to remove it. Just use a screwdriver to pry it away. Now I can remove the primer bulb. You won't be able to see what I'm doing on the back side of the primer bulb, but there's two tabs. and I'm going to use the screwdriver to push these tabs in to release it from the saw housing. like that. With the primer bulb removed from the housing, now I can remove the two fuel lines from it. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to make this a little easier. Within the chainsaw's fuel system, the fuel should flow from the fuel filter into the carburetor, from the carb to the primer, and then from the primer any excess fuel should flow back into the fuel tank. So for this to work, we need to figure out which side of the carburetor is pulling fuel and which is going to return it back to the tank. The easiest way to do that is to place your finger over the openings on the back of the primer bulb and then begin to prime. The side that is pulling fuel when blocked will make the primer bulb become soft. It may even stay compressed as you, as you pull, or as you prime it. The other side, when you block it off, will keep the primer bulb stiff because air can't get out of it. So I've determined that this is the side that is pushing fuel out, and this is the side that would be pulling. And now I can go ahead and assemble the primer bulb back into the saw. So as we determine, this is the side that's gonna be pulling fuel. So I'll install the short piece of fuel line there, and then the other end of the short piece back to the carburetor. And now that'll pull fuel through the carburetor and into the primer bulb. On the other side, I'll attach the piece of fuel line that goes back into the tank. This is the unfiltered side. Like that. Now we can snap the primer bulb back into the housing. 
I'll thread both of the fuel lines through the opening in the top of the housing and then snap the bulb in place. Now I can slide the carburetor back onto the posts and install it to the intake boot. Next, I'll install the throttle linkage. Now I'll reinstall the air filter base and secure it to the carburetor. Now I can install the air filter. Just line it up with the air filter base and make sure I get a good seal all the way around the edge. Now I'll install the air filter cover. I want to make sure that it seals all the way around the air filter base. Yeah, just like that. 